The three best products from The Ordinary for aging and mature skin. On this channel, we always talk about how preventing the signs of aging is easier than treatment. But I also wanna remind you that aging is a natural process and it shows that we have smiled, we have laughed, we've lived, we've loved, and we've learned. So while it's never something to be ashamed of, there are people out there who want to fight the signs of aging or reduce fine lines, wrinkles, or uneven skin texture and dullness that comes along with getting older and hopefully wiser. These products have some of the secrets from The Ordinary and have some amazing ingredients at affordable prices for those who are looking to treat their skin. Let's dig in. If you've watched this channel for a hot minute, you might be able to guess one or two, and I bet you there's one that you won't be able to. So let's start off with one that, if you've watched this channel before, might be obvious. This is the 2% Gran Active Retinoid Emulsion. This is one of my favorite products, and there's a lot of science as to why it works to help anti-aging, specifically wrinkles. Vitamin A is very potent to the skin, and ingredients such as retinol, retinoic acid, and retinoids fall underneath this family umbrella. A lot of people know them for being used in acne, and while that's true, they can also be used to fight wrinkles. A lot of doctors and dermatologists prescribe retinoic acid for off-label use, such as for some skin cancers, such as for some vascular conditions like rosacea, and also for wrinkles or fine lines around this area. The reason why is because retinol is amazing at teaching your skin how to behave better. This is not pure retinol, it is technically still in the same family as these retinoic acids, but because it is much more gentle, it means it doesn't cause the earring the itching or the stinging that can come with higher concentrations of retinol or more pure forms. This goes into the skin and it actually coats the hair follicle and the sebaceous unit, the area within your skin that is responsible for producing oil and for growing these tiny little hairs. There have been studies that show when Retin-A products go into the skin, they teach the skin how to behave in a new way specifically targeting some receptors in the skin that have to do with DNA formation. Basically the blueprint as to how your skin cells work. For those who have wrinkles, think of your skin as like a piece of paper. When you're young, it's a flat piece of paper, it's great. But if you fold it and unfold it a couple hundred times, no matter how much you try to smooth it out, it's eventually going to have a crease in there. That's essentially what wrinkles are. They're these little creases in our skin. And while things like Botox or filler can be injected into the skin to plump them up, Something like the Gran Active Retinoid could help in a more mild form of kind of teaching the skin to remodel itself a little bit. Because of this, your body's natural immune system likes to send a bunch of blood and a bunch of immune cells to that area, and that can have a nice plumping effect on some of those wrinkles. Again, don't expect a facelift in a bottle, that is not what this is, but it can do a little bit of that skin retraining. A lot of people, when they get older, their skin slows down in its renewal process. It's called the cell renewal factor. Basically, your skin doesn't work as quickly as it used to. That means that the top layer of our skin can start to get a little bit of buildup, which makes our skin look less luminous and overall more dull. But specifically from the Grand Active Retinoid, it can help to remove that top layer of dead skin cells, removing that dullness and helping those younger, brighter skin cells glow from underneath. The Grand Active Retinoid can be used in the morning and the evening. Just keep in mind that sun does degrade it. That's why I like using retinoids at night. And also, you do need sunscreen in your routine if this is a product that you're going to add. The next product is the priciest of the bunch, but there is reason. Can you guess what it is? This is the Buffet from The Ordinary. The Ordinary has the Buffet as well as the Buffet plus Copper peptides. Both of these are peptide serums, and the science is still kind of out on how they work, but overall the results look interesting. And at the end of the day, this product does have a very smoothing effect to the skin because it has a lot of other beneficial ingredients in there. And of course, this can help diminish the look of fine lines and wrinkles. Our skin and a lot of our body is made up of protein, specifically collagen. Collagen is what gives structure to our skin. It's that basket weave and elastin and collagen together make up the rubber bands that allow our skin to smile and then bounce back. But as we get older, that collagen can degrade. So naturally, a lot of beauty companies and a lot of people are like, hey, if we can boost up the protein production in the skin, we can fight off things like wrinkles, right? There's a lot that has to be done in medical science in order to be able to do that. But one of the best theories is 
by giving the skin the ingredients it needs to make more and better proteins. Proteins are made up of peptides, which are made up of amino acids. You can get amino acids from your diet, your body can make some of them, but there's an idea that applying some topically are also helpful. These amino acids are placed together in a chain which is called a peptide, and amino acids and peptides are small enough that they can penetrate deeper into the skin. Whether or not they stimulate everyone's skin to turn into collagen is still kind of up in the air. That's why I like the buffet and I don't pay the extra, what, 20 bucks for the copper peptides as well, just because the science isn't totally there. But it's something that looks promising. And at the end of the day, these amino acids and peptides do have a very soothing effect to the skin. They make the skin feel almost a little bit buttery, but they don't leave the skin feeling oily and they absorb really nice. And again, if there is the potential that this can stimulate my own skin to make more of itself to prevent wrinkles, that is worth my money. <laughs> On top of the peptides in here, it's got glycerin, which is probably what's giving that smoothness to the skin. It's got lactobacillus ferment, which could help rehydrate the skin and create a protective little barrier. And it's also got sodium hyaluronate, which is a form of hyaluronic acid, basically an awesome humectant that holds on to moisture. So again, it helps your skin look luminous and glowing. The buffet can be used morning or evening. However, it does work best at a pH of around 5.5. Our skin naturally likes to hang out at around that area, so even though it's not detrimental, avoid using any acids or any very basic cleansers or products around the same time at this just to get the most out of your money. This last one is a little bit unexpected, but I think this is one of the greatest products that The Ordinary has for anti-aging. And I want to make a disclaimer that this recommendation is based off of science, and although it doesn't go against manufacturer's directions, it doesn't follow manufacturer's directions. And the reason why is because this product is actually sold as an eye cream but I have seen it do wonders for people who apply it on the face. This is the Caffeine Plus EGCG solution. It's sold as this liquid that's supposed to help with under eye puffiness as well as some dark circles. But when we actually look at the ingredients, a lot of what's in this bottle has potential for the face. And those who have used it this way, either by mixing it in with a moisturizer or just using it as a serum, have noticed some pretty interesting effects. And let's talk about that from the perspective of what's in here. Caffeine, you know by coffee, as in wakey wakey juice. But caffeine impacts your body when you take it orally in a different way than when you put caffeine on topically, aka on top of the skin. See, caffeine is a vasoconstrictor, so when put on the skin, it can create a tightening effect. That's why it's used in a lot of these under eye creams, because it can stop the skin from having so much blood up here by the area and making this area look puffy. But this also works for the rest of the face, helping to decrease overall puffiness, but even more importantly, helping to give the skin a slightly different texture. Caffeine is also a fantastic antioxidant. C8H10N4O2. <laughs> An antioxidant goes around by protecting our skin, specifically from things like the sun and free radical damage, which is what causes aging in the first place. Because caffeine is such a fantastic antioxidant, it really helps to nourish the skin and again, provide that antioxidant boost that helps your skin function more optimally, giving your skin kind of like a shield to fight against the outer world. Now, even better than that, this has EGC. CG, epigallic hadogen 3 gallate. And I actually believe that the one that the ordin- Fudge! What's even more amazing than that is that this has EGCG, epigallocatagen 3 gallate, which is a wonderful antioxidant that comes from green tea leaves. Epigallocatagen 3 gallate is something that we've spoken a lot about on this channel, but it's great if you take it internally and when you put it on the skin. It has these antioxidant properties, but it actually has been shown in different studies to help with wrinkles, to help with fine lines and aging, to help with overall skin texture, with firmness, and again, with that glow, that revitalizing, youthful, look that really hydrated and healthy skin has. I actually think that The Ordinary is using not pure EGCG. Let me look at these ingredientes. What they're using is very similar. It's epigallocatagen gallate glucoside and galloglucoside, which are slightly different, but they do function in a very similar way. And again, The Ordinary is using potent, very pure extracts, but giving them to us at affordable prices. And when they blend a lot of these different ingredients together, I think that's one way, along with controlling their value chain, that from a business perspective, they are able to do that. When we look in here, it also has urea and lactic acid. These are mildly exfoliating 
exfoliating. And there's not a lot in here, so it shouldn't burn or irritate the skin. But remember, these exfoliants also help our skin's renewal factor to get those lower skin layers up to the top quicker so that our skin looks brighter and fresher. But again, the opinion that I'm sharing here is for use off-label, which means not as directed, either by applying like a serum onto the skin or mixing in with a moisturizer. The Ordinary says that you can use this morning and evening because it is safe for this under eye area and intended for the under eye area. It probably won't cause itching, irritation, or stinging. However, we know that everyone's skin is different and we're sick and tired of hearing about it. But because of that, there could be redness, itching, or irritation with any of these products. And of course, if that's what happens to your skin, immediately discontinue and speak to a doctor or physician about something that would be better suited to your needs. But the best anti-aging thing you can do for your skin is to prevent all of those in the first place, which comes from sunscreen. We've spoken about sunscreens a lot. There's another video that explains them here. And although this is not meant to treat wrinkles, it really is the best thing you can buy to prevent new ones in the future. So whether it's this sunscreen or another one, make sure that that is also in your routine. If you learned something from this video, make sure that you that like button and that subscribe button if you haven't already. You seem to like these ordinary videos and I love making them, so there's a whole playlist right here containing how-tos, buyer guides, and skincare routines that explain the science behind the ordinary and Dyson skincare. I love you beautiful butterflies inside and out and I cannot wait to see you in one of these new videos. <laughs> love you guys, bye.